almost literally, I went into a seminar one day. Uh, we had these, every Tuesday, we had a lunchtime seminar uh, in neurobiology in my department. And I went in, and I, as I usually did in these things, I didn't look at the title. I didn't look at who was speaking, because if I had, I probably would have said, I, was, I can skip this. But I just went to it. And in the seminar, uh, there was, uh, the, the speaker was talking about some work that had been done basically in 1962 by what subsequently became a co-laureate with me in 2008, Osamu Shimomura. And it was talking about how he had been studying bioluminescence in jellyfish. And through a series of really accidental discoveries, had unraveled the biochemistry of how this jellyfish was able to produce light. And uh, one of the accidental discoveries is that the molecule that produced light was the wrong color. And so he had to go back and look for something that was the right color, and that was the protein we now call GFP. And at the time of listening to this in the seminar, I was, uh, we were, as we still are, working on nerve cell development and particularly the function of nerve cells that sense touch in a very small animal, a nematode, uh, center of diacelligans, that's only a millimeter long, and has one terrific feature. It's transparent. But it was that sort of funny juxtaposition of having worked on an animal that was transparent, wanting to know where genes were turned on, and being told there's a fluorescent protein, I just fantasized for the rest of the time.